Courtney, I don't know if you, you heard Coach speaking beforehand, but just uh, his sort of drive, his, his mentality, and how does that kind of translate to you guys and the way you guys perform? Um, he comes with energy every single day. Um, it helps us respond. Uh, some days you wake up and it's like, here we go again. But you come in, you see Coach Norvell and his energy, um, his positivity, um, his hard work. And it just makes you just want to work for people like that. Um, you want to play for coaches that are that come with that mindset every day, that love you, but also coach you really hard. Um, yeah, it just gives us that energy. How important is consistency on the practice field? Oh, it's everything. Uh, I've been trying to instill that in the boys, just trying to be consistent with the tempo, with running routes, with blocking. Um, it's really important. I mean, everything translates from the practice field to the game field, and I've learned that a lot um, throughout these past couple of years. I've learned that just from Mackenzie too. Mackenzie, James, Blackman, they've helped me uh, with, with practice because I've always been, I haven't been a practice player. Um, I'm just a guy that comes out here and just tries to have a little bit of fun. But now I've really been working hard to try to take every day, take every day like it's game day. As you grow, where, what do you do your role in a practice where maybe guys aren't showing the level of consistency that's required? Just being a leader, speaking up, uh, trying to talk to the guys a little bit more on um, because it means everything, just having a leader. Um, when I was younger, I had leaders everywhere that picked me up when I was having a bad day. Um, we're still, we're, we're people at the end of the day, so coming, not every day is going to be perfect. You're going to come, you're going to be feeling sick. You, you may, may have broke up with your girlfriend yesterday, but you just always have to have that person that just pushes you and keeps you going. I wouldn't say anything really changed. Uh, obviously, losing changes a lot of people. And you kind of get tired of it. Um, kind of, you just put your foot down. And you just want to end it. You know what I mean? Uh, so I just want to come out here every single day with a better mindset than I did before. Um, I feel like before the season, before the Notre Dame game, I came out with a great mindset. Obviously, the losing it, it gets you down a little bit, but just it's all about responding. Um, and that's what we learned as a team is to respond and just to come back and just keep working. Do you feel like you're throwing the ball with more confidence and conviction right now? And if so, what do you think has kind of led to that? Yeah, I have a ton of confidence right now. Um, just my teammates, my teammates, my family, uh, the coaches. They're all, I just have great people, a great supporting cast no matter what. Um, no matter what goes on outside, um, whatever's said outside, I really, I'm very, I'm good at blocking that noise out now and just kind of focusing on what's important. Uh, my teammates are the most important things to me on this on this football field in general. I want to come out here and give 100% for them every single day. Whatever I have, I want to give it to them because they deserve it. We work really hard in the off season, so it's important to me. Uh, 100%. Uh, um, usually Sundays don't feel too good, but I actually woke up and I was able to walk a little bit. I walked into the facility with a smile on my face, and in reality, that's all that matters. Um, as long as I'm smiling after a win, I don't care how my body feels. I'm just thankful to win. Is that mentally a change of approach for you in the sense of trying to not take on the hundred percent. Yeah, I, I got to remember I, I play quarterback. Uh, I try to do too much. Uh, it's always you have to have the next play mentality. There's always the next play. You don't have to make a superstar play on every single play. So I just been learning to get down and stop taking so many hits. Everyone talks about like the sliding or getting out of bounds. Are there other little things that you that quarterback can do to protect themselves at the end game? Um, you can kind of I mean brace your hits a little bit like. Not running, uh, instead of trying to run people over like I did like last year, trying to like lower my shoulder. I mean, just you could take hits and go to the ground, and just make it feel a little bit better than it actually does. Is there? Do you have to control it though? Where you need to play with a certain level of awesome. For sure, you just gotta be, you just gotta be smart. I mean, if it's third and three, you gotta do what you gotta do to get the first down. Um, but you just gotta, you just gotta figure it out between play. Um, it's all plays are, every play is different. Um, if we need a touchdown. I'm gonna lower my shoulder and do whatever I can do to get in that end zone. Um, I'll do whatever I do, whatever I can do to help this team win. Jordan asked Coach Dillingham if anything changed on his end in terms of the, the trust and confidence he has in you. He said he's always believed in you. I asked him if he thought anything on your end changed, and he said for us to ask you. So, I mean, if anything happens, you know, affected the way you trust and you sort of have confidence in this staff. I mean, my teammates, my teammates, my coaches, just coming with that positive mindset every day, pushing me to keep going. Um, I've always been a positive guy. Um, Beginning of the season uh, after the Notre Dame game, I got a little down, obviously, with everything that went went down. But I just have a great supporting cast. Um, very thankful. I got really close with God. 
Um, and I feel like I put everything in his hands, man. And it's just, I wake up every single day, it's a new day, a smile on my face, and to keep pushing. Good. Thank you, guys.